guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're going to be working on this little 38 convertible that we uh, recently got, and we stabbed the Cadillac engine in this thing, and that's uh, been a fun little side project we've been doing. We have a lot of side projects, but uh, we've been working on this car lately just because it's been a fun one. So uh, one of the things that's really rough on this car and was scary when we first saw the car was the firewall. The firewall, they had just hacked a giant hole in it welded a piece of quarter inch plate in that was cobbled together with dual master cylinders and it was just a mess. They, they also like torched a cut out uh, down at the, the uh, bell housing and left like 12 inches of room in between and it just is totally a mess. So while we're working with getting the engine in and out and kind of messing with all this, I figured it'd be a good time to replace the firewall. No matter what happens with this car, whether it gets driven perfectly shitty or it gets uh, finished out and is very nice, we want to have a decent firewall in it and we don't have to uh, mess with trying to fill those holes. So uh, our buddy Pete a while ago had uh, given us a few extra firewalls he had laying around when he was cleaning up um, some of his stuff and we've had them sitting on the shelf for quite a while and now is the time luckily that we squirreled this away ourselves. So we have a spare firewall here. We're going to work on removing this firewall. Generally what you would do is work around the edges and find every spot weld. We're going to be using the Eastwood um, rotor brooch spot weld kit that they have, drill kit. It works really well, um, but normally what I would do is work around the edge, find every spot weld, drill it out, separate it. Um, but this firewall is so rough. What we're probably going to do first is cut all the way around the perimeter of the firewall to get the bulk of it out. And then we're just left with the flange or the lip that we can then just pry out. It'll be a lot quicker with finding the spot welds that way um, and getting everything taken apart. So we've already gotten the hood hinges and all that stuff off. And now we're gonna work on doing some rough cutting and then we can get this all removed and start test fitting this one and get it trimmed to fit the Cadillac engine a lot nicer than it was with the Pontiac. You're down probably a quarter inch down up under the under the lip. Under the lip. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want to do. Okay. above the foot. You know, we may want to pull the floor. I'll get it cut to there. I think we'll get it all cut all the way around and then before we get down to the feet, we should just probably take this floorboard okay. mess out of the car. Yep. And then we can get to everything easier and mm -hmm. Yeah, see what's going on there. We're almost 
blow the rivets out and we're basically there. Yep. And then it can go. Instead of sandwiching it, we'll just lap it over and I'll, I'll swallow it. Yeah. Not, it doesn't need to be. Right. That, that was going to turn into a major ordeal. Here. And we already had to cut it down here for this exhaust, so it's kind of like. Yep. But what I would do is I would start like right here, mm -hmm. and you can see where the welds are. So you can either start prying it up, and sometimes I take the this. Yep. And you pry it. You can either break it and then just clean it up with the grinder or whatever. Right. But basically, we just got to get this whole lip off. Got to get it going. Um, if you want, this, we can cut it. If it's easier, we could just cut it here. Okay. And leave this bracket attached to the cow side. Okay. And then we'll just cut the other firewall to there, and then I'll just spot weld it with the mig yep. to that, and we'll get around it. And it's, not, mm -hmm. it's never going to be 100 points far. <laughs> so you get like this one. This is where it's a good spot to start because it's already effed up. Yep. So Steve has been busy at work on the not fun part of this, the taking the flange that was left after we torched it out, our plasma cut it out, and he got all that, the flange of the remnants of the firewall out and everything cleaned up. And it's very, very, on these cars, it's a lot of a, a lot of work because there is a bunch of like little tack welds they did with like a gas, with a torch uh, that are in the corners and stuff like here that you can see that just, you know, they welded it right through there, so he had to peel that away carefully and extract it. But got the firewall out and uh, all the pieces out. And we just have, still have obviously this damage here that I need to fix. Um, but I worked on getting, quickly just got this lip hit with the sander. 
and uh, this is our replacement firewall that is not cut up. Looks like this one might have had a heater at some point, but not a big deal. But the big thing is, is that it doesn't have giant holes cut like a hole in here. So uh, we're gonna start fitting this into the car. Uh, we know that we're gonna have to cut some for the, um, for the bell housing on the caddy engine. I don't know how much yet. So we're gonna start setting it in and slowly trimming and fitting and trimming and fitting. And hopefully we'll get this thing to sit in here without too much craziness. Um, and uh, we're also obviously gonna have to trim for that exhaust manifold on that side a little bit. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get this fit in. because we can we can set it there and we'll see obviously where you need the trim yeah oh yeah yeah it'll and then uh we'll keep, until we can swing it up in and clip it in so. yep all right let's see if we can bang the center in yep keep going almost passed right. actually i could probably take my pry bar out now keep hitting that's pretty solid I, we're hitting against on the Passenger side over here, we're hitting on the on the brace inside the cowl. Well, that's going to be a problem the whole time. Yeah, it's hit on both those sides. Yes, it is. Um, but we're actually so close. Hmm. Yeah, we got to take this little tab off on this side. I okay. think. I don't know though. Yeah, we got to take it off some. Um, I could see where it's probably going to hit on the corners of the bell housing there. Oh. I don't know if you can see that, but like right on the outside corners there. Yeah. I don't know if you could look at them, mark them here. Just the outside little corners where right it's here. Good. Yeah, where it's about to touch. Just mark a little mark on both sides. Yep. And I'll take, I'll just take just a tiny bit off. Because if they're that close now, they're gonna. Almost Okay. Yep, there we go. Set. All right. I don't know if the bottom going in might be your easiest. So I'm going to tap on it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, there's a secret hand sheet. Got it. Try that little lip down. And when you get, go ahead and tap the center just to get it start. One more. There you go. Okay. Yep. I'm trying to see what we're. Oh, I see we're hitting on the center of the tunnel now. Look. Oh yeah. Yep. It's hitting hitting on the bell housing. Yeah. You're gonna have to take that lip out. But now, like I said, if you go slow like this, it's kind of. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what? We're hitting right here. I gotta take that whole lip off there. See the. Oh, okay. Yep. And that's hitting too. Let's take right. the whole lip off. Okay. There we go. Cut number five, 
six, seven. <laughs> yeah, something like that. A little out of time. I'm outside of the cow here. Okay, like that. The cow is going to want to. You're going to have to. Sp you're going to have to spray it out, no matter what. Okay. Whether it's my side or your side. Oh, okay. Because it is springy. Yep. Here we go. Closer now. You got lots of room at the trans now at still at the moment. Yep. So what are we hitting on? I'm hitting on the outside of the cow right here at the corner. Well we can pry it. Yeah. Don't let me get we're hitting somewhere else too. There you go. This is how you want it to fit. Yep. Because it's gonna clip in. Just out there, yeah. That I would just start, you know, somewhere mm -hmm. in there, and see if you can get it to just pry a little bit. And if you want, I can come out and tap at the same time. Time. Yeah, just gotta get in a little closer to it. Oh, there yep. we go. Yep. Yep. So now I just go up top there. Yeah, it's just actually bent down a little bit, probably from just taking the firewall out. There you go. There you go. Son of a gun, it's got a firewall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how you want it to fit. Nice. Yeah. So your side needs to come, both sides need, bottom need to come forward a little bit. Yep. But when you pull it up in like that, we got perfect clearance. Look at the tunnel. Oh yeah, that is that that's perfect, right? Yeah, I would just we'll just clean that radius up a little bit so. Mm -hmm. it Alright, so uh, I had to run out and uh, Steve worked on getting this firewall in and he's actually got it kind of, uh, not kind of, it is fitting very, very well. So um, we had to just trim and adjust and he had to use a bottle jack you see under there to push up because the firewall was a little out of shape. You guys saw I welded uh, this patch in here. There's a little spot where there was like a, a tear that I left alone when we spot weld everything. I'm just going to fill that up with the MIG welder and grind it smooth. Um, but, I mean, wow, 
clean firewall that is not all cut up. It's incredible. Um, Steve went and off camera kind of wire wheeled all this and got all the major grime and rust off of it. We're going to epoxy prime it. Once the engine comes out another time, we're gonna clean it a little better, epoxy prime it. And I'm um, thinking about painting it maybe white. Um, so I was about doing the garnish molding white as well in this car, so um, we're not sure yet. But for now it's cleaned up so we can weld everything in. He's got it clamped in place. Uh, it's looking really good. We use these holes in the top here that are for the hood stays um, as a locating, uh, for locating the firewall. So he's got just a dowel he's setting in there and we know that everything's kind of sitting right because those line up. So I'm gonna get the uh, Eastwood MIG welder out, crank it up and start doing some uh, rosette or plug welds here, get this thing in place and uh, we will have a nice sturdy uncut firewall here real soon. So got the firewall in, I did a bunch of welding and uh, working around the old uh, spot weld holes that were drilled out. Um, the flange on the firewall when they took it out of the car was, a, was maybe cut or was a little short. Uh, so I had to work around some of that. That's part of the problem with using original parts that were removed from another vehicle. Um, at some point they're going to have to, you know, wreck or, or cut something a little bit. And this wasn't terrible, I just had to work around it. Got everything pretty much uh, plug welded in, hammered these, ed hemmed these edges back over, um, just went back over all the, all the um, plug welds I did and uh, just knocked them down flat on the outside here and uh, we're pretty much uh, good to go. A couple little things I'll have to weld up once we get the engine out that I just can't get in there uh, to hammer flat and, and weld just at the feet down here. And we have a couple little spots where we cut around the feet um, to uh, put this in and uh, we just gotta fill those little holes and things like that. So just little minor work we could do once we pull the engine out, but huge, huge upgrade getting this uh, firewall that is not all hacked up, bent, uh, got that repair over there taken care of, and uh, it looks like a totally different car with the, uh, with the engine in there now. You can't see into the uh, driver's side of the seat with that giant window that was in the firewall. So um, that big upgrade on it. This is a big job, I don't wanna I know sometimes these videos are sped up. Doing a firewall in like a 37 to a 44 is a huge pain in the ass. There's lots of hidden tack welds and, uh, and a million spot welds. It's a big job. I kind of underestimated and thought we'd be able to pull it out and put it in in the same day. It took two, three days to do this job uh, from start to finish totally, but we got it done. So um, that's the next update on this car. We're gonna tackle probably the rear uh, axle and suspension and all that stuff in the next video and we're getting really close to kind of connecting all the dots here making sure everything fits and then we can pull it out to start uh, cleaning things up and painting them and getting it ready to install for the final time in the car really exciting stuff so thank you guys for following appreciate it catch you later